Yo YouTube, what's up? I'm Tim. We got Thomas, we got Fernando, we got AC, we got four sixths of the crew here today. Um we made our video about who about the Mavs winning the NBA Finals, myself and AC did. But uh we we are gonna make a separate video now about just who who do you come down on for the Heat for winning or for losing the NBA Finals in this fashion? I mean, they're up two to one. This entire series, though, you just did not see it out of them. The energy, the emotion, the excitement just lacked with them. And, uh, Fernando, we'll start with you. Who do you come down on in this series? Um, I think it comes down to LeBron James. Um, he just didn't have the uh, spectacular points that everyone expected him to have. He had um, 63 points overall. He was outscored by Chris Bosh. He was outscored by Dwayne Wade. And um, Chalmers wasn't that far behind. He had 50. Um, he was mentally on top the entire series. He was saying now or never. Um, then he lost. I mean, it was just a roller coaster of a ride for LeBron. You could tell that his emotions weren't intact. You could see that he was nervous. He didn't want to shoot the ball all the time when he shot. Some of his shots looked shaky. He didn't do that well. His free throws were not the best. Um, I just think it came down to LeBron and how he handled himself and how he didn't lead the team, and he should have done it, and he just d came out on bottom with just 63 points and uh, 30 rebounds, and I think uh, he lacked effort, and if he would have done better, I think uh, the Heat would have had a good chance of winning it. Yeah, I mean, it was a roller coaster ride that was basically going downhill the entire time from game two is basically like riding steel force for those of you who live near Dorney Park and know what that is. Uh, Tom, what, what did you think, man? Uh, man, I, I definitely agree that LeBron didn't play his best. Um, you know, he should be like he should be scoring 25 a game like he usually does. But um, I think people really underrate the fact that uh, Miami has been shooting like crap at the free throw line. I mean, when you lose uh, close games by like two three points. Like the Miami Heat have throughout the, the throughout the series, uh, you should definitely make your free throws, man. Miami, I think they're shooting around uh, around 65% from the line, so uh, um, you should you, you definitely need to step it up on from the free throw line um, when it's the playoffs. Um, LeBron, he does deserve a lot of blame because, like Fernando said, he got outscored by Chris Bosh, but I think um, the whole team needs to be blamed as well for not making the free throws. Yeah, I mean, they, they struggle for, for free throws. It's not only LeBron. Wade had some tough times. Bosh had some just times where you, you can't miss free throws. That's the points they got to get, and they just didn't do it. AC, who do you blame in this series? Well, well I mean, I got, a few, I got a few things right here. Eric Spolstra, first off, you guys know we've said so much on him. Uh, around this past week and even the whole season about how shitty of a coach he is. He, he is, should be a middle school coach, really, as Bruce Blitz puts it. His tactics are childish, and he doesn't he, he doesn't belong in the NBA as a coach. Um, LeBron, he's got to be a leader. He's got to show intensity. Obviously, he didn't. We said that. We must have said that 20,000 times in the last video we did. Um, but I have a different perspective. I blame the entire Heat team for not playing as a team, I should, I guess I should say. They, they, they didn't show, no one really stepped up. Dwayne Wade didn't, uh, as much as he... Kind of, Wade did in some games, but not... Exactly what I'm trying to get at. He, he did in some games, but it wasn't there all the time. Like, he wasn't a true leader, and neither was LeBron. He, no one really truly stepped up and, and, and put the team on their back and, and led this team to anything, really, except for LeBron in the Bulls series, but that doesn't mean crap in the finals. So, I mean, I blame no one for stepping up, and I, I'm coming down on my whole team if I'm, if I'm the coach or if I'm a fan. Yeah, I mean, it's... you got to come down on Eric Spolstra. Like you said... The guy, he, he doesn't understand the concepts of basketball. He's just a cheer hard, oh, good job, good job type. I mean, he's not an NBA coach. He's not a high school coach. He's not a college coach. He's not a middle school coach. This is the kind of guy you have in your instructional league when you're trying to teach your four-year-old how to dribble, not when you're trying to win the NBA Finals. 
Part of them not being motivated has to come down on him. But part of it has to come down on LeBron. Part of it has to come down on Wade. And I think more of it comes down on LeBron because Wade looked more like he was into this. LeBron in these last <clears throat> three games, he just did not look like he was in it. I mean, there, there's no other way to put it. It's embarrassing the way he played a lot of this series. And he did not get the job done. And you know what? While he will get more than he deserves, he deserves Bit of this criticism he's about to get. Um, I think you got to come down a bit on Bosch. I strongly believe they made the wrong decision. They probably should have gone after Carlos Boozer. I know he had an awful year, but if he goes to Miami, it might be a different thing. Um, Spolster better be done there as a coach. I mean, if they think they're going to win, Spolster, they, they can't really change a whole lot on the roster, but Spolster's got to be the guy to go. And they got to bring in a point guard. It doesn't have to be somebody great, but Chalmers is going to be more effective coming off the bench. And I think that if you look at it, the bottom line is that right now, the Heat need a point guard. It's as simple as that. Mike Bibby does not get the job done. Anything else you guys want to get to? I don't think so. I think so. All right, there's like a strange echo on someone's, but that that's basically it. I think we can all agree here, though, that the majority of the blame goes on LeBron James.